Hey y'all, welcome to another video, or welcome if you're new. We're going to Walmart today. I've actually got a list. I've got a bunch of household supplies that I need, like toilet paper, paper towels, paper plates, laundry, um, like the OxyClean powder, the scent beads, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go out and do that today. I also wanna get a fall candle, specifically Glade. I love Glade's little candles that are about this this size really good um if you haven't tried them yet they are good anyways and they're about four dollars so love a deal we're gonna go erin's not feeling the greatest today because the weather it's rainy it so it messes with his bones and stuff when it's wet like that does it do that to y'all too Could you paper towels? this is these are paper towels these are ultra strong paper towels some more they change around the store y'all and i do not like it it looks crazy and i'm gonna get scent beads and which is right over here and we need paper plates so you can pick out this is oh and we need toilet paper this is 11. we need all of it or is but, that but they're small yeah We typically get these paper plates. You get 150 of them for, for a price tag of oh, 13. Wow. Okay. Well, that's what I get. So I'm trying to pull one out where I'm not making the other ones fall. A big one. You okay. Uh, like these. Yeah. Okay. And then you get more of them. And he got that, uh, what is that? Bounty paper towels. Yeah, got cat food. Twelve dollars um, So yeah. now, where's toilet paper? Do we need bags though, or can we just keep using the black ones? Okay. I'm okay. just not running out. You think these are any good? You think these are any good? I don't know if you don't put a bunch of stuff in it. Okay. Well, we won't. We won't put a bunch of stuff in it. Okay. Now, I need to come over here. And oh my gosh, this aisle is very popular. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, I think these are cool. Anyways, I'm sorry. It's so busy in here. But these I've heard of. But they're so small. Vanilla sounds good though. They're so tiny though. I think I'm going to try these. Downy. This, this is the ocean mist. Okay. And then. Oh, it's some oxy powder. So here's all the earwig stuff. I'm looking for the Glade candle.
if y'all are looking for Halloween fall fabrics, they're right here near the like greenery stuff. But then they also have Christmas ones too. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty. The little moose. What you looking at? Managed to get all of our toiletries we needed. Wow. Mm. So that's wireless. No. How does that work? Bluetooth? Or I didn't know you could have wireless stuff. Oh, I should get a wireless mouse one day. Actually, I feel like I've had one before. Isn't it crazy? When I was growing up, like, they were really heavy on the camera section. And now this is all you can get. By the way, I have a camera that looks just like that. But it's a, um, oh my gosh, it's not a Kodak camera. It's something else. Why well, do I think it starts with an N? I have a big old Canon one, too. I have the Canon G7X mark three and i've also had the mark two and i liked it just as good this is walmart this is walmart look at this nice display i don't know if it's giving ikea i feel like it's giving ikea this room <laughs> pretty neat though those are pretty neat too those chairs I like those brown lamps up there. They're under 30, it looks like. Oh, he's found some gaming chairs. He will find the gaming stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. So they have some different ones here than they had at the other store. Oh, y'all. This is beautiful. This green right here. I gotta put this back. I like these. Nice fluffy blankets. I want to do this. I want to get a quilt. A Christmas quilt. And then a Christmas blanket. And then maybe like a nice knitted pillow for Christmas. I'm already thinking about Christmas. I know. I told them I thought this was nice. Over there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I like how the center comes out. For you to put a drink on. So this is where they have all their pillows. Because we're in a different Walmart today. They also have these really pretty blankets. They are $17.47 for a 50 by 72. Oh wow y'all. These are super soft. Super soft. Let's look at the pillows. I like looking at pillows. And I like this pillow. This little black and white one right here. $8.50 for that. That's not bad. Still got the mustard yellow going on. That must be pretty popular. I really like brown. Yeah, this is nice and fluffy. This is pretty. $11.94. Look at all of this decor. They got all the little, what I call office greenery. And then, this is really pretty. Little pod right there. These are bookends, I think, or could be bookends. Paperweights, too. Oh, little corner shelf, $12. Walmart is very much modern and organic modern. Like that down there, very pretty woven mat. Got some more blankets. These baskets are really nice. I'm curious. I don't see a price for those. Oh no, y'all. I don't know. I really like this right here. He's looking at fish and stuff. I'm just right in the area. 
Okay. This is more furniture stuff. I thought these were Stanley's at first. They're only $24, which is a lot cheaper than a Stanley cup. And these are cute. Oh, I like that. The branding right there. All right, I'm looking at the organization stuff here. They still have the home edit items. Oh, they have a can organizer right there. What is this? It looks pretty. A flex bins and it is kind of flexible too so that's nice you can kind of overfill it if you need to i kind of like these little clear ones that kind of dip in like that then they've got these little lacy susans right here that are clear that is the home edit but they also have some right there turntables and those are $8.98 but that's no, I'm guessing that's eleven eighty six. But they have all the organization stuff you could use for your kitchen. I really do like these kind because they suction. So that's really nice. Really nice. Also, I didn't even think about it, but it would probably be harder for a kid to get into this because of how the the top is because they would have to pull that first whereas these I think they could just kind of pop off the whole entire thing and then dump the cereal out <laughs> I used to work in a daycare okay oh no someone put their mom's there that's not good don't you hate it when people, like, those will probably be fine, but I don't like it when people will pick stuff up that's refrigerated, and then they'll just be like, no, I don't want it, and then they'll put it there, and then it goes bad. Like, what the heck? Reusable snack bags. Oh, goodness. Five dollars. No thanks. Y'all, it's Christmas at Walmart. Look at these. Oh, they're ornaments, but they're little mugs. How cute. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> That's so fun. This is pretty fun, too. They have the jukebox also. These are $8. Oh, I really like that. Um, carousel. All these little houses here. I love the gingerbread houses. Oh, very pretty. I love cardinals. What's it do? Oh. <laughs> How do y'all feel about these little Santa men candle holders? <laughs> I don't know. And the Santa, I mean, the, the snowmen without uh, heads, like faces. Oh, I really like these. Bright red ones right here. And these, these Santas are like the kind I'm talking about with the pinstripe short, the pants. Um, I think those would be cute in my house with all the black and white. And then stuff like this would be cute with all the black and white. So just have lots of pops of red everywhere. Even this little house right here. Oh, it lights up for you. Just battery powered. Here's some little Halloween blankets. But also, oh, here's the bedding I saw the other day. And then they have the sheets to match it. So I thought about getting those deer sheets. But um, I wanted to show y'all the fall. Here's a plug-in. I think it's $8. Oh, they've got a leaf too. Oh, a little cauldron. How fun. This one I, is what wanted me to come over here. This right here is super cute. I don't know how this works, though. Incense. Okay, so that's different. It's not a wax warmer. But they've got quite a few over here. Oh, how cute. This is probably a candle. Yeah. A little pumpkin. Well, uh, that's talking about a warm 
warm double pumpkin. I don't know what that is. Is this considered that? That's sixteen dollars. Okay, okay. I got like three candles for sixteen dollars. <laughs> There's one of them. We are in the clearance section right now, and they have these cute baskets over here. This is ten dollars, and this one is also ten dollars. Got lots of picture frames. Some gilding. Paint. Flat. Are you finding anything? Yellowstone. These are a dollar fifty eight. Dollar fifty. Big beef sticks. That's not bad. Dollar fifty. Yeah, that sounds good. I don't know about this. It's a pink lemonade. <laughs> They've got these in here too, a dollar. I think I may be in the plus size section. This is women's apparel, so I don't know. But I'm over here looking at these tunic tops. I just noticed the colors and thought this is definitely fall. So I'll show y'all. It's time and true that all of these are $10. And these little sweat that sweater's cute with the sleeves. $19.98. And then this little waffle knit. It's a lot darker in reality. $14.98. Oh, those pants look outdated. Isn't that interesting how <laughs> the amount of those you could find in a thrift store with the seam going down the middle? It cracks me up what what uh stuff comes back in style here's some sh uh what do they call these sh shackets these shackets right here i like this color reminds me of a roasted marshmallow let's see 24.98 for those they've got these little cute shirts too this is great for right now when it's still warm and this is 13.98 that's cute. Oh, I like this too. I'm telling you, Walmart's clothes are pretty. $18.98. And they've got these long tops right here. These would be perfect with leggings. And these are $15.98. Let's see. Oh, okay. Are these long sleeve? I don't want to mess them up. Uh, normally they tell you. But they're $8.98. Oh yeah, I see. Right here, I see the length. And look at these. Are these called bomber jackets? I'm gonna guess 30. $34.98. And those were popular when I was in school. <laughs> Probably 15 years ago. I really like these types of open waffle knit. I just think that's pretty. I like, uh, cause the other, the regular waffle knit seems kind of tight to me. $17.98 for those. I think, I think this is the one and now I can see why. Cause that's cute and soft. Kelly's Corner just showed, I think the orange one in a haul. These are $17.98. I like this too. It's kind of like a jacket, but it's the sweater material instead. But thin sweater material. These, I'm gonna guess, are $22, $24.98. What's this behind here? Oh, I like that kind of washed out look. I'm gonna guess 18 something, $17.98. Should we play the guessing game? You mean they have pants in those? Are you serious? Because, y'all, I have the top. I have the top part. Ooh. Very cool. I really like this autumn leaves. It's darker than it looks. Um, but it's over here where all the little t-shirts. Do y'all remember when they had? They used to have, like, a shelf of, of stuff like that? This is only $12.98, and that's a sweatshirt. That's not a bad deal at all little zip up jackets right here. I love the pink. 
These are $15.98. That's not a bad deal. And see how they have the models out? I think that's so cool how they're doing that now. Here's some more. These are more like thin sweaters. You can see. There you go. It was not wanting to focus. It's like a thin sweater material. These are $12.98 also. Just trying to make sure we're not missing anything. But I think that might be all of the fall. It's what you would expect, you know? A lot of basics. And then the flannels and stuff like that. Did you find a wallet? That's what I've been looking for. You? This is what I like. I like, the, I like the little... And it's got a little weight to it. It's got enough weight to it to know that it's in your pocket. Yeah. But you... Thin. Or not thin, but lightweight. Not thin. Thin. It's thick hurts. Oh, because you have to put stuff in it. Well, you sit on it. Yeah. Like yeah. On a rock all day. We are back home. I'm going to show you, or is Margaret going to show you what we got? Because um, she's on the table like she's not supposed to be. Dog food for Chloe. Got the soft and strong mega roll toilet paper. Bounty Essentials paper towels. This is the kind of stuff that lasts us for like a month. Uh, trash bags, great value. Got some ultra soft Kleenex, and these have like springy flowers on them. But we had gotten a gift not too long ago. Um, and look, it's empty. And Erin does use Kleenex a lot, so I have these little covers which I can find it and I can link it uh, in the description box for y'all. They're on Amazon. I if I'm right, there was like a pack of two. The black one and then there was a cream one. And they're like eight bucks. But it's worth it because it makes your Kleenex look pretty. <laughs> like it's decor. Um, okay. So, y'all might have saw this. I don't know. But I got the Downy Ocean Mist Scent Beads. I did get a little Starbucks coffee. They have the pumpkin spice ones too. By the way... This is mega big. Like, this is so much bigger. At least a third bigger than the other one I get. The other one's like this size. Anyways, the other one is around $11 at Food Lion. This giant one. Let's see how many ounces is this. This is a five pound one. This was 11 and some change. So, great. Because I don't even use a full scoop. I use just a little bit. Just to kind of help. Um, Aaron picked out this... Dr. Squatch. He really likes this. This is his third one. And I think each time you get a different scent. Right? Yeah. So this one is the uh, Ground Vanilla Vine Medium Grit. It says Brick of the Dead. <laughs> anyway, he likes them. So if you got a man in your house, they may like this stuff. So... They had a few different candles. I actually did pay up for this one. This is Goose Creek, which I don't know what that is, but maybe y'all do. Anyways, it's a cider and sweaters. And it has apple, cider, and leaf scented to it. And it kind of looks like a Bath and Body Works candle. I think this was 11 or something like that. But it smells really, really nice. I'll probably like that later today. Um... If I do, I'm going to have to light it somewhere where I can literally stare at it to make sure my cat's tails don't get accidentally caught on fire. <laughs> because I can imagine having that little one right there, Margaret, on the floor. Um, I could definitely imagine her jumping up on here and her tail getting in the little fire. And then her running around everywhere with a little flame at the end. And that is not a fun thing to think about. Um, I got some... Flushable wipes. Um, I would have got baby wipes because I think they're a better deal. I don't know. But um, I, the way this store is set up now, I was like, I just need to find stuff that fits what I'm looking for. And so I just grabbed these instead. 
Um, so big paper plates, little paper plates. We get the great value brand in those. This one is a mainstay, and it is the salted caramel butterscotch. So it has toffee, vanilla, and butterscotch. It smells really good. This is a drink I took with me, and Aaron said, you brought a drink with you, and you didn't even drink it. And then I got a drink at, in the like, cold section. So it's kind of funny. Anyways, this is also a mainstay, and this one's an alpine uh forest so it has herbal cypress and red cedar and it smells really nice like a tree like you're in the uh like full of pine trees wood wooded pine trees what are those called i don't know um this is the ugly stick it's a seven inch fillet knife and i wanted to get it for Erin as like a little gift because he has been bringing home crappie or crappie and it's the same thing by the way <laughs> and um one of y'all said what kind of fish it is and i'm i'm it's a pan fish anyway that right there should do a good job i don't know if it comes with a sharpener but we have a sharpener but it does come with a sheaf that you put over it oh very cool okay so the because the one he had which they also sell there i don't know if the airbus said but it does it has a sharpener it says it has a sharpener inside the sheet yeah well, yeah i got a new wallet so he's switching out his cards and everything he was moving the cards over but he can't see the screen and i've got it to where y'all can't even see the countertop Cause you know how many times I've had to cut out a clip of like a debit card of mine that I just, you know, when you buy something and, and it's online, you have to enter in your information. So then I'll just sit my cards out like a goofball. So I think, yeah, that's everything I showed. I showed y'all everything. Um, he got a keyboard for uh, gaming. So hopefully that makes his gaming go better. And that's it. Y'all, I'm gonna get new glasses soon because these are like too too big for my face. They used to not be, but my face used to be bigger if you've been here long enough to know. <laughs> and uh, y'all are so sweet. The ones of you that say, oh, congratulations on your weight loss. I did lose two pounds this week, but there was one point in 2022 that i got down to 240 it was when i was like i'm gonna be raw vegan i'm gonna just eat vegetables and stuff and y'all know that lasted like a week anyways um i did <laughs> i did get down to 240 i popped all the way back up to like 265 and like recently and now i'm at 260 which is where i typically just sit it's like my body just wants to sit here forever um which is fine by the way i have a lot of loose skin already because i was at one point like the 330 was the max that i got to um so there's a lot of skin and i'm a little nervous that if i keep losing weight that the skin will be even more so i don't know anyways um so I don't count calories or do anything like that. I just try to make sure, like be mindful of how much I'm eating because sometimes I will overeat and then I feel bad about it. So the next day I do better. But um, not eating super late at night has helped. I'm really proud of myself every time we just eat dinner and then I can go like five hours because we eat dinner pretty early, like around four or five. And then I stay up until 12 sometimes i don't even know why i'm talking to y'all about this but um i think what it is is we've done a lot of stuff like physical labor stuff this year and so it's just changed the way my body looks but the weight is not that much different um it, and i actually gained weight but i do agree like i told erin today i feel smaller than i felt in a long time but the scale is not the same so to any of y'all that are wanting to look different but the scale doesn't move much but you're working out or like moving your body to where your body 
like you look different that I would not worry about what the scale says at all because um, for me I only use the scale to kind of give me an idea of where I'm at but not let the scale do any like it doesn't have much of an impact on my day to day I just like to know you know like if you eat a lot and then you're on the scale and you're like oh I gained five pounds let me reel it in a little bit and then you forget about the scale for a week or so so it's kind of like that because I used to get on the scale every day and I don't think that's healthy but anyway I hope y'all have enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new we do shop with me's we do decorating we do home projects uh cooking cleaning pretty much those things and then gardening when it's in the season so which I still have tomatoes and peppers out there growing I just had flowers come up last week on on the tomato plant so it's still doing its thing I guess it's going to do its thing until we have a frost um because they definitely won't make it past a frost <laughs> they're hot weather plants but they're doing good right now all righty I'm going to show you a scripture and I'll let you go bye you want to tell them bye bye, bye.